Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure of DNA. You should then be able to describe what's meant by complementary strands. And this is for triple biology students only. In the last video we started looking at DNA. We saw that DNA is a genetic material and DNA is contained in chromosomes in the nucleus. Remember that DNA is a polymer made up of two strands. The two strands wind around each other to form a double helix and I'm showing you that here. So in this video we're going to take a closer look at the structure of DNA. The first key idea that you need to understand is that DNA is a polymer of molecules called nucleotides and I'm showing you the structure of a nucleotide here. I should point out that you're meant to know this structure. Nucleotides have got three main parts. We've got a phosphate group attached to a sugar molecule. The sugar is attached to a molecule called a base. Now one really important point is that in DNA the phosphate group and the sugar molecule never change. However, there are four different bases. Scientists call these A, C, G and T. So this means that DNA contains four different nucleotides and I'm showing these here. As we said before, DNA is a polymer of nucleotides. I'm showing you here a short stretch of the DNA polymer. So here's one strand and here's the other strand. Now this brings us to a key fact. The DNA strands are complementary. This means that the same bases always pair on the opposite strands. C is always linked to G and A is always linked to T. In the exam you could be given the nucleotide sequence of one DNA strand and have to work out the nucleotides on the opposite strand. So because the same bases always pair on the two strands, we say that the two strands are complementary. In the next video we look at how DNA is involved in protein synthesis. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the structure of DNA in my Vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 